In this video, we'll calculate the molar mass for C6H8O7. This is citric acid. So we have the molecular structure here for citric acid below. This is the formula. You could also write it like this here. You might see it this way. And that gives us a little bit more of the idea of what the structure of the citric acid looks like. But if you counted up all the carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens, this is what you would get. So we'll use this to find the molar mass for citric acid. So we go to the periodic table, we find carbon. That's right here. Carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. I won't write grams per mole. Let's write that at the end. We have six carbon atoms, so we multiply by six. Hydrogen, right here, 1.01 .01 grams per mole. We have eight of those. Then oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole, and we have seven oxygen atoms. So when we multiply these numbers together and then add them up, we get 192.14, and the units are grams per mole. Those are the units for molar mass. So to recap, to find the molar mass for citric acid, we find carbon, we multiply that by the number of carbon atoms, hydrogen by the number of hydrogen atoms, and then oxygen, we multiply by the number of oxygen atoms, we get 192.14 grams per mole. That means if we had one mole of citric acid, it would weigh 192.14 grams. Or if we had 192.14 grams, that would be the equivalent of one mole of citric acid. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.